Do you want to stay safe from the Blue Whale Challenge? How about the Momo Challenge? Or any other challenges that pop up out there? Then this video is for you. Let's talk about it. What's going down Mouse Nation and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of discussion, how to stay safe from the many infamous challenges out there on the internet, including the wildly infamous Blue Whale Challenge and of course, the Momo Challenge. You could either be a parent trying to figure out more about these challenges or a young person trying to figure out how you can protect yourself from them. And before we begin, if you or a loved one are feeling thoughts of suicide or self-harm, please call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. This number here is for the US, but most countries have them as well. First of all, I cannot express enough to you guys that there are a ton of evil people on the internet, and many of them are just sheep in wolf's clothing. So make sure that you don't trust just anyone that you meet on the internet. In all reality, you really shouldn't talk to any strangers on the internet because you have no idea who's there on the other side. If you do decide to do that though, make sure that you don't give out any of your personal information that includes your name, where you live, or any other way for them to find you or use that information against you. And definitely do not give out your phone number. These challenges always start with a message of some sort asking if you want to play a game. It may be Facebook, WhatsApp, TikTok, Instagram, Snapchat, Discord, or whatever is hip with you youngsters at this time. Kids seem to think that doing this kind of stuff is cool or edgy. It really isn't. You just kind of look like a nerd whenever you're trying stuff like this. That means if you're down in the comments below, please do not joke even about doing any of these challenges. I don't find it funny. And I know that doing creepy things and talking about creepy things is a lot of fun. That's why I have this channel, so we can talk about creepy things in a safe space. And always keep in mind that real people have died from playing these types of games. So just don't do it. And as soon as you do get any messages from any strangers, block them right away and ignore them. If you don't click on or open up any links, there's no way for them to track your IP address. And even if they do find your IP address, they'll really only know basically around where you live. They won't know your exact address. Most of the time, these guys aren't actual hackers. They're just a bunch of nerds and wannabes uh, that just want to terrorize young people. They may threaten to hurt you, they may threaten to hurt your family, but they're really not gonna find you, they're not gonna go out of their way to do that. They'll just look for some other young mind to try to infect. Just block them, let a parent or an adult know, and if at all possible, make sure that you report that profile that tries to contact you. Now these guys that try to contact you are called curators, and normally they're gonna try to do whatever they can to get you to open up that DM. They're gonna say that they know someone that you know, or they're just gonna try to coax you out into replying to them. And these curators will usually use the same profile pictures. With Momo, it was, of course, Momo. And with Blue Whale, recently it's been this ugly Mickey rat looking thing. I'm not sure exactly what it is. And if you do know what it is, let us know in the comments below. That would be greatly helpful. But I can tell you this, as I've actually gone out and looked for some of these curators, they're not gonna do anything. I can guarantee it. They're just there to try and scare you. And if you want me to make a video of me talking to one of these curators, let us know in the comments below. We'll see what we can do. Maybe we'll mess around with them a little bit, but I do not think you guys should do anything like that. Leave that to the professionals, leave that to someone like me. The only person that will usually be able to hurt you in these scenarios is you yourself, and that's what they're gonna try to get you to do. So your safety is the number one priority. Don't do anything or put yourself into any risky situations. So let's recap. Ignore the message. Just ignore it. Block the user, tell an adult. And even if you've started one of these challenges, you can absolutely stop at any point. Trust me, it doesn't make a difference. Just stop, stop, block, tell an adult. Don't worry about it anymore at that point. You got it. I promise guys, you're gonna be safe. You're gonna be okay. And if you're a parent watching this, great job at making sure that your kids are safe. It's super important that we do believe the things that they say because they may not understand exactly what's happening, but you can better guide them if you do. Don't let these types of people take advantage of you. Don't let them intimidate you. These people play on your fears and your sadness. They actually thrive on it, but don't let them. And once again, only you can hurt yourself, so please don't put yourself into any of these situations. If you have any questions, ask below. I'll do my best to get back to every single one of your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, I'm your host, Morty Mouse. I'll see you later, or I'll see you on the other side.
Abschluss noch. Ja.